Hey guys, what's up? Sean Mayo here. Uh, and today we wanted to talk about uh, sales tax IDs and uh, why you need them not only for Amazon, if Amazon's still collecting in your state. Uh, if they're not, they will be soon. So what we really need to worry about is for your purchasing. So um, if you're doing wholesale or if you're not even doing wholesale yet, uh, if you're doing retail or online arbitrage, there's a ton of stores that you can use those so you don't have to collect sales tax. Uh, however you're selling on eBay or Amazon, uh, no matter what you're doing, you're going to have to, um, you're going to want to use these. So, uh, you know, if you're buying at Walmart, uh, you can use the sales tax ID in, in store. If you buy online, you can submit that information one time to them and um, then you'll be able to get refunds uh, for your online purchases. In store, you can just take that to the sales desk. Uh, to customer service, you can show that to them and they'll give you a card. It's a different card for each store, but you can then show that to your cashier and use that. Uh, you know, there are a few stores that don't like resellers, so you really shouldn't try to use them. They won't accept them and they may not let you make a purchase there. Uh, places like Kohl's and Target uh, really are not fans of resellers anymore. So um, I would stay away from those. Uh, but anything you're doing with wholesale, if you try to set up any wholesale account, they only ask for one thing, and that's your sales tax ID. Uh, if you have a sales tax ID, uh, that means that you're a legitimate business. So uh, they don't ask for business papers, LLCs, or any of that kind of stuff, because uh, if you have those items, um, then you're going to have uh, you know a sales tax ID. You have to have that before you can get that. So um, I'm going to show you how to set one up today uh, and how to use it. Uh, basically, you just have to submit that to the wholesale companies. We send that to them when we open an account, uh, but you can do that in whatever process you're using um, or you will be using if you don't have one. Obviously, uh, you're probably not setting up wholesale accounts. Um, as for retail, uh, like I said, it's super easy with most of them. Um, so uh, it's a little different for each state. Uh, I'm in Florida. I'm going to show you how to do it in Florida. And I'm going to show you uh, where uh, to get the information for whatever state you're in. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look at our screen now. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you uh, the information you need for Florida. So here we are uh, in the Florida Revenue uh, website. It's just floridarevenue.com. If you uh, are doing business in Florida, you can set one up here. If not, uh, we're going to have a link in the description below showing you uh, how to get the information for, um, it's a list of every state. Uh, tax jar, which we use for submitting uh, sales tax info uh, from Amazon. It links right from Amazon. You can use it for your state if you uh, they're not automatically collecting for you yet. Um, but even if they are, um, it's very simple uh, to submit your tax info to the state. Um, you just won't have to give them your info from Amazon. Uh, so if we look at our page here, we can see, um, you know, it, it, it looks like there's a lot, but it's very simple. It just all depends on uh, your, um, the way that you have your business set up. So we have an LLC. Now, if you're doing something else, if you're doing something else, then you can um, uh, just, when you fill out the form, you'll be able to um, select what you have. So um, all we are is a retailer, which is what most of you guys should be. Uh, so it'll be pretty simple to, um, to deal with, with this. Uh, so what we're going to do is go right here to uh, where it says you can download the Florida business tax application, um, but we're not going to uh, do that. We're going to go right to the DR1 and we're going to uh, fill out the, um, we're going to fill out the form and they're going to take you right to where you need. So um, it's a pretty simple registration form. Uh, it's asking you, you know, if you are a new business or you're just adding a location or, you know, changing the way you're doing taxes, all that stuff. Um, for this video, we're all going to select that we're a new business entity with the state of Florida, um, and then you're going to select what you do. For, uh, this is what it's going to look like for most of you, uh, sell products or services at retail to consumers. Uh, so you're going to hit yes for that, no for um, all the other ones, unless it's a little different for your situation. 
Um, obviously, uh, we're not going to make a video that's going to cover every situation, but if you're just a regular Amazon and or eBay seller or selling on other platforms, this is what you're going to be. You're going to be a retailer selling to consumers. So um, do you charge admission or membership fees? Um, this is all going to be um, no. Uh, th this form basically covers everything for, um, you know, every kind of tax permit that, that exists. All right, so um, obviously these are all going to be no's, um, you know, not importing chemicals or selling off-road fuels or any of that kind of good stuff. Um, now this is the important part. You're going to tell them what kind of business entity you are. Um, you know, you could be registered as a partnership or corporation. Most people um, will and probably should be an LLC when you're first starting out. Um, and some people register as an LLC filing as a C Corp, so be sure to check that off. Um, So it's just telling you what you need to fill out. So here, I'm not going to fill out this part because obviously we already have one, uh, but you're going to put in the social security number of the owner um, and then verify it. So you're just entering it twice. Um, and then the FEIN number. Um, and we covered this in another video, but the FEIN number is the Federal Employer Identification Number. Uh, after you create your business, if it's an LLC or a corporation or whatever it is, uh, then you would go to the IRS page and you would um, create your FEIN number uh, and you can download it right there. It gives you the number instantly, but it only works during business hours. So you have to do it during IRS, the IRS regular business hours for some reason. Um, and then once you do that, uh, you can hit next. Now they're going to send that to you in the mail. Uh, you'll also get the info um, via email, um, and then you'll have the online portal. You can file your taxes or enter that it's zero if you collected zero taxes. Um, and then you'll have everything you need to set up wholesale accounts. If Amazon is collecting so many taxes for you, you don't have to submit those taxes. You're not liable for any taxes you don't collect. You are not paying taxes on what you buy um, and what you sell. Um, it's You're paying taxes on what you collect. Uh, so if Amazon's collecting on your behalf uh, for items that are sold on their marketplace, you are not liable for that. Of course, you know, talk to your tax professional to, because uh, the rules and laws are, are constantly changing uh, and are updated every year, if not multiple times a year. So uh, once you fill this out, um, you'll get all that information. Um, and then um, I'll show you just a few of the qualifications. This is very simple stuff that you guys should have yourself. Creating an LLC is super easy. Um, filing for your FEIN is easy. And as you've seen, uh, so creating a, a sales tax ID in the state of Florida or whatever state it is, um, is extremely easy as well. You do not need to hire somebody to fill in all of your own personal information for you. Um, they're just charging hundreds of dollars to copy and paste the information you give them. Uh, now, Now, as far as uh, what you need um, here, you can see um, it's, it's all simple information. You know, um, if you're filing as a single member LLC, which will be the second one from the bottom, you see you just need the name of the entity, your FEIN number, which you do before you create the sales tax ID, um, the date of the orga, um, the date of organization, so they can just look up that info, officers' names, which will probably be you, or if you also have a partner. Um, the social security number, address, telephone number, the business's address, and of course your signature. So uh, that's all you really need um, to set this up. Um, now the last bit of info um, that's going to be super helpful for you guys is from TaxJar. This is also their blog, and instead of just telling you to go Google all this information, they put it all together um, in a great, um, a great blog post here. So if you scroll down uh, a couple pages down, you'll see that they have uh, every state 
um, the link for every state to set this up. So it's going to take you right there. Um, I'm just going to use Illinois as an example. You can click on it, and it's going to give you all the instructions because there's different instructions for every state. Um, it works in each state. Um, now, as I see, as you can see here, um, in Illinois, if you register online, you should get it within a couple days. If you ask them to mail it to you, it can take six to eight weeks. Illinois is super slow at stuff, so it's probably going to take longer than that. So um, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please uh, subscribe to our channel for a lot more um, awesome info like this. And you can see our other videos on creating an LLC and creating um, your FEIN number. Um, it's all super easy. It only takes a few minutes to do each one just like this, and you'll be up and rolling if you're not, um, if you haven't done these steps. Uh, it's super important, especially if you want to cross over into doing wholesale. You absolutely have to have a sales tax ID for every uh, company you're ever going to try and open a wholesale account with. They, if they get audited, they have to provide proof that they didn't need to collect sales tax on that sale. Uh, so uh, every company you ever deal with as far as wholesale is going to need this um, a copy of this and it's updated every year so every year they're going to ask you to submit it again so um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video